Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about molecular basis of cancer. This is the part third of the video. In the previous video we discussed about oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes in detail. So as we discussed in the previous video there are seven essential alterations which are required for malignant transformation that are self-sufficiency in the growth signal in that we have studied about oncogenes then insensitivity to the growth inhibitory signal in that we studied about tumor suppressor genes then there is evasion of apoptosis limitless replicative potential sustained angiogenesis should be there ability to invade and metastasize should be there defects in dna repair should be there and the tumor should also escape from immune system so in uh, firstly we will cover about limitless replicative potential in this video so what is limitless replicative potential now the normal human cells they have capacity to multiply 60 to 70 times after this the cells they lose their ability to divide and they become senescent now this process is uh, ascribed for uh, to the telomeres now what are telomeres firstly so telomeres they are short nucleotide short repeating nucleotide sequences which are present uh, at the ends of the chromosome so these are the ends of the chromosome at the ends of the chromosome they are short repeating nucleotide sequences they do not code for anything they are just there so that proper replication of the chromosome can take place and there is no loss in the genetic information with each replication of the cell there is shortening of the telomeres by loss of nucleotides so there is an enzyme there is an enzyme known as telomerase now telomerase enzyme it replenishes the loss what does it do uh, it adds the nucleotides to the chromosome and uh, restores the length of telomere after certain age after certain multiplication also telomerase is lost and the cell will undergo senescence telomerase it adds the nucleotide to the ends of the chromosome it is expressed in germ cells because germ cells they require multiple um, um, doublings rather than somatic cells so it is absent in somatic cells but is present in germ cells a cell when it divides uh, with shortened telomeres and without telomerase enzyme in a normal human being what happens is p53 p53 was a tumor suppressor gene it senses this and leads the cell into senescence but now there is a part this was a normal thing which was happening but what will happen so normally what will happen is when there is inactive telomerase there is 50 to 70 replications which are taking place and for because of replication this red part is the telomere which is shown in this diagram so there will be shortened telomeres p53 will sense it and send the cell into senescence otherwise if the p53 is inactive in that cell there is activation of something known as non homologous end joining pathway or nheg pathway that is non homologous end joining pathway because of this now when the telomeres are shortened in a cell in which there are no telomeres okay so this was the normal telomere which was present this is the normal telomere but in certain cells when the telomeres they are shortened they are very less telomeres which are present so the dna is exposed and it is all known as naked dna or it is known as dna breaks are present so this ends they get sticky okay the ends will get sticky and they join with another chromosome to restore the length of the chromosome now telomeres are not restored only the length of the chromosome is restored this leads to formation of something known as dicentric chromosome in such chromosome there are two centromeres which are present and the length is restored now these are not normal chromosome now when these cells they enter into metaphase they go into anaphase in anaphase there is separation of chromosome which will take place and because separation will take place at abnormal location as this is the abnormal chromosome there will be new double stranded breaks which will be formed now these due to these breaks 
if t dimerase is not present in such cell the cell will die it will go into mitotic catastrophe and will death of the cell will take place this is again normal thing which will happen but if t dimerase is present in such cells because in such cells there is inactivation of certain oncogene tumor suppressor genes because of such breaks okay so this telomerase if expresses itself over here it will lead to cancerous production okay this whole pathway is known as non homologous end joining pathway or bridge fusion break it cycle because multiple time there is bridging of the chromosome there is fusion of the chromosome and breakage takes place so this is the non homologous end joining pathway important in case of telomeres Uh, another important thing in limitless replicative potential is certain cells they uh, behave like stem cell they acquire some qual uh, qualities of stem cells leading to high proliferative tumors now next step of the molecular basis of carcinoma was evasion of apoptosis so apoptosis is a programmed cell death and it represents a barrier between the cancer production in normal cell the cell death by apoptosis takes place and prevents pathological conditions now the abnormal there are two pathways in the apoptosis if you remember in uh, i have a separate video on apoptosis also briefly we will discuss it uh, there is intrinsic pathway which is also known as a mitochondrial pathway and there is extrinsic pathway in case of evasion of apoptosis most common defects will be seen in intrinsic pathway that is the mitochondrial pathway example of apoptosis uh, 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 abnormality in certain tumors is uh, anti apoptotic gene is over expressed in case of b cell lymphoma so whenever anti apoptotic gene is increased that means apoptosis is not taking place that means cancer can develop so various levels at which abnormalities can be seen in uh, apoptosis are so you have your uh, intrinsic pathway you have your extrinsic pathway so there can be reduced level of cd95 that was a ligand binding site okay there can be inactivation of death induced caspase 8 okay that was also a process in extrinsic pathway then there can be reduced cytochrome c in the mitochondria okay in mitochondria itself then reduced level of pro apoptotic bax gene p53 due to p53 uh, loss there can be reduced level of bax gene then loss of apoptotic peptidase activating factor and lastly there can be ap regulation of certain apoptosis genes so there are multiple genes which can be involved in the process if you know the normal process of apoptosis various levels it can get altered so that the cell it evades the apoptosis and apoptosis does not take place so basically if there is in re reduced pro apoptotic factors or there is increase in inhibitors of apoptosis that means the cell will not undergo apoptosis and can survive next important in the molecular basis of carcinoma is sustained angiogenesis angiogenesis is required for the tumor to survive so tumor stimulate the growth of host blood vessel that is known as angiogenesis now tumors cannot enlarge beyond 1 to 2 mm in diameter unless they are vascularized because new vascularization will give them two things it will give them oxygen it will give them nutrients and also it will provide them growth factors from adjacent cells okay so these very it is it is very important for a cell for a tumor to get vascularized so uh, the tumor it produces certain angiogenic factors which are capable to trigger formation of new capillaries these capillaries can be formed by recruitment of endothelial cell precursors or by sprouting of existing capillaries which are present over there how these are formed uh, the tumor growth it is a very uh, tedious uh, 
डिफिकल्ट प्रोसेस देयर इज अ बैलेंस बिटवीन एंजियोजेनिक फैक्टर्स एंड एंटी एंजियोजेनिक फैक्टर्स इन द बॉडी इफ द एंजियोजेनिक फैक्टर्स इंक्रीजेस एंड एंटी एंजियोजेनिक फैक्टर डिक्रीजेस देयर इज इंक्रीज इन वेस्कुलरिटी ऑफ दैट पार्ट देर इज इंक्रीज इन एंजियोजेनिस ऑल्सो ड्यू टू हाइपोक्सिया वेन एवर देर इज हाइपोक्सिया देर इज इंक्रीज इन लेवल ऑफ हाइपोक्सिया इंड्यूस फैक्टर एंड इट लीड्स टू इंक्रीज लेवल ऑफ एंजियोजेनिक फैक्टर सच एज वी ई जी एफ एंड बी एफ जी एफ दैट इज बेसिक फाइब्रोब्लास्ट ग्रोथ फैक्टर सो एंजियोजेनिस टेक्स प्लेस बाय दीज मैकेनिजम्स बट द ट्यूमर ब्लड वेसल्स दे डिफर फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल ब्लड वेसल्स बिकॉज दे आर मेनी दे टॉर्चुअर्स दे आर मोर लीकी so this was about angiogenesis now last step of uh, uh, molecular basis of carcinoma is problems in the dna repair okay so the uh, there are certain persons who are born with inherent mutation of dna repair proteins and they are inherently prone to develop cancer these syndromes are known as genomic instability syndrome the dna repair gene itself they are not oncogenic but what will happen if if there is any mutation in another gene which needs to be repaired there is mutation in tumor suppressor gene there is mutation in oncogene that need to be repaired it will not get repaired so dna repair is not taking place so If if you uh, remember the DNA repair systems, there were many repair system. There is mismatch repair system. There is nucleotide excision repair system. There is recombination repair system. So defect can occur in any repair system. So the two syndromes, just briefly, we will discuss. There is a syndrome known as HNPCC, that is hereditary non-polyposis cancer syndrome. In this, there are many familiar carcinomas of the colon, especially cecum proximal colon. In this, there is problem in the mismatch repair gene, and the uh, uh, the proofreaders they do not uh, cannot work properly, leading to carcinomas. Then xeroderma pigmentosum. Here also there is problem in nucleotide excision repair. In this also there is development of skin cancers. so this was all about the molecular basis of carcinoma do watch the first and second part to understand about oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes you can ask your query in the comment section do like share with your friends if you like this video thanks for watching it